I'm going to do some tests with this model and we're going to see what we decide. So I was able to pick into this. It took me zero time because it had one pin in it. So that does work with a double spring. Let's see what it did to that spring, though. I'm a little worried that if it that it might permanently damage the springs. But, no, their spring looks pretty standard. Great, so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make another one of these. So, let's see what I can do. Let's try maybe, oh, let's see if I get this one joined. Maybe. What happens if I just... Let's see. What does that look like? So I'm going to drop it back into my... My little test rig here. And then... We'll do our standard... We'll just push on them a little with a standard hook. Oh, that's lovely. That feels... That's very... Very tense. Let's see, is he... We're gonna just look down. I'm gonna try and keep my hand out of the way so you guys can kind of see what that pin's doing. I'm gonna push him up. Oh, he can only go up part way. That's interesting. That'll be a good double. So, now where we're, where we're gonna put these doubled springs. So we've got two doubles and a single. And I don't want to put them anywhere too predictable. Or two doubles and two singles. So this is just going to be a standard single spring. So we got that. The double spring. Let's put a double wound here and a double wound in five. That seems mean enough. And because five is it's a medium cut. So, and it's in the back. So as you're reaching back with your pick to get up there, you have to push a little harder. And that spring will really give you some very interesting feedback. So that's where I'm going to use a double wound. And on this serrated spool in four, let's use the long one. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to load this lock up and I'm just going to go off camera. I'm going to see just how hard it is to get into it without the security pins, just with the standard pins that we're going to use. But, and just with the springs and see how hard that makes things. Shouldn't I have dropped a key pin out of there? Huh, maybe I already took that out. I'll just watch back through and see where that went. Alright, so now we'll look at our things. So we've got, let's load up our key pins. So we got four, three, one, Oh, hello, that, that's sitting on top of something. Ah! That's... Two. Alright, so now we've got in here... I'm missing a four. Yeah, there's gotta be something in one of these somewhere. Let me figure out what went wrong there, and I'll be back. So I was basically going on a wild goose chase. There's only three of the four pit, three of the four length pins. All right, so we got four. And according to our thing, we got four, three. One, three, four, 
three, two. Great. So there's that loaded. I'm going to set that off on this pinning mat. Then, actually, since I'm quite done with that, we'll actually just slide the plug back in. I forgot I can load this from the top. Which is quite nice. Great, so that's all loaded. So the next thing I'm going to do is drop in my pins. One, two, three, four, five. Great. So now we're going to look at our spools and... We've got a good old standard spool in one, a double wound, and that's just what I'm calling them. I, there's probably a name for it, but I don't know it. So we're calling them double wound in two, everyday standard spring in, oh, these two started to wind on their own. Which happens from time to time in three, the long one in four, and the double wound in five. So that's going to make for some very interesting feedback. And we're just going to very lightly, very carefully just press straight down great so now in theory all those pins come on close up That might be an issue that we may have to look at. Oh, there we go. As this closes, yeah, we can see it. It's definitely pushing up on the... On the... Oh, oh wow, yeah, as this closes, it's definitely pushing up on the thing, so I'm a little worried that it might... The tension might eventually pop this top off. As you can tell, I haven't been able to get this to lock. So we're going to see what happens if I just... Man, that clip's on that tight. We're going to start by just popping off this back piece and seeing what the heck's up with it. I have a feeling it's my newfangled double-wound springs. I have a feeling that it's the long spring. 